for the Ajo Corsic algorithm, you have to build a tree, um, and for that tree, it's going to represent uh, it's going to represent prefixes for the dictionary, which includes a a b b c a a b, etc. So what we're going to do is, given a starting node, uh, we're going to look at every possible character that we can go to from that starting node. So you can see that from the empty string, or uh, from no string at all, we can start our string with an A, or we can start our string with a B. Right. Uh, it could be the case where it could start with uh, any special character, but for this dictionary, those are the only two choices. So when we see character A, we're going to add child A to our starting node, and when we see character B, we're going to add character B to our starting node. Now, uh, Aho, uh, the nodes also have a special characteristic where they have an output. So if, in this instance, if I have an entire word ending, an entire word from my dictionary ending at a certain node, I'm going to list that as output. So this node represents an entire word from my dictionary. So it's going to have an output of A. Cool. Now, I'm going to continue this process recursively. So, from A, once I've seen an A, what character can I see after that? So, now I'm going to look at when the word starts with A, what's the next word, uh, what's the next character that I can see? So, starting with A, I can see a B, I can see another A, or in this case, another A. So, I'm going to add those children, so I can see another A. Or I can see a B. And remember, we're adding output to the nodes that that terminate an entire word from our dictionary. So this is going to have output A B. Uh, a A does not terminate a word because this there's still characters left to be consumed. I'm going to do the same case with B. So B can be followed by C, or can be followed by D. So I'm going to add those children. Uh, B C or D. I have to uh, I have to do the special output characteristic for each of these. So B C terminates this node terminates uh, the entire word from the dictionary. So this is going to have output B and C. And this node is going to have output B D. Uh, now I'm going to continue this recursively again. So once I've seen A and then A again, what uh, what letter can I see after that? So once I see A and then A, I can see a B, or A and A, I can see a C. Now these two these two cases terminate a word from our dictionary. So I have the case A, A, B, or A, A, C. So A, A, B, I add the output to that node, or A, A, C. Oh. Now, if I continue this process, once I see A, B, uh, there's no case where I'll see another character. So A, B, there's no other words in the dictionary that will generate a character after A, B. And the same goes for B, C. And the same goes for B, D.